it's me and it has been a while literally a few years since we watched some of the cheapest people on the internet these are some of the best ones this family washes their dirty dishes in the kids kiddie pool I can see myself in the plate ew I just saw you guys come out of a house I'm pretty sure you have a sink in there and running water no we're gonna use the kiddie pool when the kids are done playing with it what if they peed in it now we're gonna make the whole family help out that's a lot of dish soap for a cheapskate. Oh, actually it looks watered down. They've been using that bottle for years and they just keep filling it up with more and more water. So it's like an infinite dish soap glitch. I really hope the kids don't play in it after they do the dishes. In the summertime, when the kids are playing, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. I feel like this would save you like maybe like $3 max. You know, that's why most people do their dishes in the sink. Then what? The dishes are done. You guys are going inside are you gonna drain the pool no it's like crusty musty spaghetti sauce brownie batter water and, and you're gonna keep it there you're not gonna drain it I feel like they're gonna use it for something else like please don't tell me they're gonna bathe in it that water's done you know growing up to save money my dad never flushed the toilet like literally never refused to flush the toilet because that cost money all of us would have to flush right before going to the toilet and then flush right after so it was all for nothing that being traumatized by a piss-filled toilet every time we would use the bathroom. And I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't. And we'll make use with what we have. That's our lifestyle, that's our way. I mean, that sounds reasonable. And until you have to pay for burning yourself, since your pan doesn't have a handle. There's saving money and then there's being reasonable. Like, broke, how are you gonna pick that up? Off, and instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans. You just need one, just one pan. Walmart has it for like $10, bestie, I'm begging you. No, she gonna pull out the toolbox. And the duct tape protects my hands from <laughs> All right, kids, bacon's ready. No, this does not look very reliable. She got more trust in that handle than I do in most people. This is where we spend most of our time in the living room. As you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. Girl, what was the point of even buying this big old house if you're gonna have a lawn chair and an ottoman as furniture? Like, where do you watch TV? This is just ugly. Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars. Ours costs maybe fifty bucks. Oh, thank goodness they have a beanbag. I know everybody's gonna fight over sitting on that beanbag. Bag. Like you spent $50 on your living room? That sounds like a flex until you see what it actually looks like. Facebook Marketplace exists. They be giving away free furniture all the time. You just have to pick it up. You just lazy. Growing up, we always got our couches for free, our chairs for free. We got our dining table for free because my dad had a truck. And then whenever one of the neighbors was throwing away their furniture, we would go in the middle of the night and they were throwing it away anyway. We act like it was a crime. And then we would take it and then put it in our house. Simple. But this, this is just sad. A few months ago, our shower head broke and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. <laughs> he definitely saw this on five minute crafts. You just poke some holes into a plastic bottle, voila, you got a shower head. For the price of a soda bottle, he rigged it up to the shower head, just poked holes in there, and now we have a brand new shower head. For the price of a soda bottle, she acts like it was such an inconvenience to go to the store and buy a 99 cent bottle of soda to make the shower head. Like, ugh, not another expense. I don't know how I'll be able to financially recover from this. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. <laughs> You know, why get groceries? Why cook? When I can just go to the neighbors and ask if they have any leftovers. I mean, that's quite bold of you. I mean, people throw away food all the time. It'd be kind of convenient if somebody just like came to your house and was like, hey, I'll take any food that you don't want. It's like, hey, if you're going on vacation, you need to empty out your fridge, bring it over. People are still willing to give her food. I like how she dresses up in like heels, has her hair done, very put together suburban mom. I bet she lives in a nice neighborhood too. And she gonna ask for people's leftovers. Lisa, I want some more. No, that's my lunch tomorrow. Hey Chris, how's it going? I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um. This is so awkward. Nice. She lives in a neighborhood with like million dollar houses. And she could be asking for leftovers. Sometimes I'll give her eggs and sometimes some stuff from our garden. But I know that she's very frugal. I know she's probably gonna put it to good use somehow. Hey, <laughs> have a good one. I feel like these people have money, but they don't wanna spend it. They like hoard it. They like to see the number in the bank account stay up. Like spending money is literally painful for them. Like. 
Jordan's been trying to find out even more ways of being a cheapskate at home. So one of the ways that she tried was dashboard cookies. Lives in a million dollar house, refuses to use the oven because that costs electricity. I've tried this before and it works. If you live somewhere where the summers are really hot, you just pop some cookie dough in your car, put it up on the dashboard, it will literally bake. It'll take two hours, but it'll bake. But you know what tastes better than these cookies though? Saving the 50 cents that it would have taken to turn on my oven. This is one of the cheapest mothers to ever exist. She took her kid that? to the playground. Oh, but wait. Kids sleep toys all the time. Why not pick them up? and take it home with you, cause they're free. <laughs> yeah, she took her kid to the playground. You know, we're not here to play games. We're here to get you a birthday present. You know, whatever we find on the ground, it's yours. Finders keepers, I guess. It's perfectly fine. We just yeah. wash it off and it's clean. It's missing yeah. two wheels. She could still play with it, Vic. If I took two wheels off your car, could you still drive it? Why go to Walmart for some brand new toys when you could find one half buried in the mulch, covered in dry slobber, missing half the tires? We end up having a lot of toys that are maybe not supposed to be used anymore, <laughs> cluttering our house. That baby missing a head! Nah, that kid went right for it, like that's exactly what I want. I was gonna rip the head off anyway. Maybe she'll make a little Franken baby out of it. Doll head and then put the car on top. Transformers, babies in disguise. Chloe, it's time for your milk. Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. She got a whole fridge full of breast milk. Baby, what you in the mood for today? You want Amy's milk? You know, how about Jessica's milk? Sarah's wasn't too good, huh? Not a favorite. Amy is from my yoga class. Jessica is actually one of my coworkers. Brandy, we do play dates with her. This is Jennifer's milk. Megan. She'd just be like scavenging random mommy milk. Oh, look, a pregnant lady walking down the street. Ma'am, could you fill this baggie up for me, please? First, Jessica's milk over anyone else's breast milk. I mean, this is her fave. She'll drink the others, but this is more her preference. I didn't know they got flavors like that. Free breast milk saves Apple yeah. over $1,000 a year off the cost of fortified toddler milk. I I mean, that's quite the save. And also, isn't formula like no good for the baby anyway? Breast milk is just so much better. And it's like, if you can get it for free, that's like bonus points. You know, I have a feeling she probably just makes friends who have just had a baby just so she can use them for free milk. Some people use other people for views, for services. She'd be using friends for free milk. I'm gonna say this is pretty smart. It saves her a ton of money. It's good for the kid. I don't know if I would want my kid drinking just random people's mommy milk. Having a baby made me more obsessed with saving money. I guess that makes sense. Cause it's like, do you have any idea how expensive kids are? Raising a child until they're 17 years old can cost like $300,000. The average price of giving birth in America is over $18,000. And cut the sleeves off. And then fold the flaps. And there you go. Girl, what in ghetto is that? Yo, instead of having a baby changing table, or you could just like lay down a towel on a couch or a bed. No, she got one of them gas station bathroom baby changing tables and duct taped it to the wall. Okay, I don't even care about your DIY diaper anymore. She's not gonna talk about that changing table? That doesn't even look practical. You know, somewhere out there, one of these baby changing tables is missing. She used the same logic from the playground. Oh, if somebody left this here, I could just take it. She would be playing too many RPG games. Like, oh, if it's in the wild and it exists, yoink, going straight to my inventory. This, we want to leave. Honey. We want to go to yeah. fine well, well, This is fine dining. Look at this. Feel the veneer of the table. What a luxurious dining experience. Oh, you feel the quality of the table? That's how you know the food gonna be fire. Said literally nobody ever. What about one time eating something that we want to eat that's really nice? Yeah, you're gonna have whatever you want. Oh, you, buffet? You're gonna like Come this lady. Oh, he got a point. I do love me a good buffet. Only because I can't make up my mind. I don't want to pick one appetizer and one entree. Like, take me to buffet. I want a little bit of everything. My family is showing a distinct lack of appreciation. And she said, fine dining. You should have took her to the Olive Garden. I mean, if you told them you were gonna take them to a nice restaurant, and then you end up at the Golden Corral Buffet, of course the wife is gonna be mad. All right, folks, there you go. What is that? That's our food. Uh... He grabbed three plates, thinking he was going to pay for three people, but there were six of us. He brought six people to a buffet, only paid for three of them. That means we just get three plates, and then we share them, family style. You only Didn't, pay for three that's plates? That's delicious, I know I got your favorites. You only pay for three plates? If I have more than this number of plates, 
then I have to pay for more people. Loki, this is something my dad would have done. You know, growing up, we never went to restaurants. Only like once or twice a year, on very special occasions, we would get to go to a buffet. And then my dad would be like, everybody, act small. We would rehearse in the car. All of you are under 12 years old. Up until my sister was probably like five years old. Nope, she's three years old. Under three years old, eat free. One time they argued with him. Like, I was a full teenager. I was like 15 years old. And he said I was 12. My parents would do anything but pay for another adult ticket. Like, she really looked me up and down was like, Honey, how old are you? 12. You know, good thing they didn't ask me what year I was born. You know, some people would be doing anything to save a couple dollars. I'm surprised they let six people in and only let you pay for three plates. Like, oh yeah, those other three people, they're not eating. I thought he'd pay for each of us to eat. For us to share, that was unacceptable. I was so mortified that he would even suggest it. Okay, but the anger would literally leave my body if somebody brought me three plates of food stacked on top of each other. I'm not gonna lie. Went and got her own place, Look. and I expect you to pay for it. That's it. <laughs> then Facey Bay just up. What did he say? <laughs> When it's 2023 and she expects you to pay. Like, ma'am, we're not dating. You're my wife. This is not the food that I hoped for. Sure it is. I mean, come on. Pizza. This is just so good. I'm not gonna lie, that pizza do look good. <laughs> That's fine dining, mother. That looks like a wet noodle. Next year, I don't know what you don't that get was. to choose. That's very suspicious. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the <laughs> And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.